Hello, this is Bob Cook from the Manchester Institute for Psychotherapy, and this is a presentation concerning um, working with survivors of sexual abuse. And I go through the uh, presenting issues and also a treatment plan for working with sexual abuse. I've called this presentation, though, Survivor to Thriver, um, because it, it's really a therapy of victory. Um, okay, so let's move on to the presenting issues. Um, clients from this population will present uh, quite often with anxiety and panic attacks and palpitations, flashbacks, often out of a cognitive nature as well as a feelings nature. And sometimes they'll have cognition and no feelings, and sometimes they'll uh, have these uh, feelings flashbacks and um, are concerned what they're about, and they're often incapacitating with their functioning. They have problems with relationships, uh, usually around trust, um, they come usually with sexual problems, and the usual the sexual problems trigger off the uh, the flashbacks and the memories, and um, with that comes splitting and dissociation, cutting off from their bodies, from their self, from their feelings, from their thinking, and of course, uh, usually poor self image, because this is such an early invasion. Okay, let's go to the treatment plan. So the first stage is establishing a trusting alliance, which actually may go on through most of the psychotherapy as uh, don't trust is such a big injunction here. Uh, secondly, once they've got to a stage where they can trust you more, they'll go into making connections with their past. And often um, it's this is about retrieval of memory work, either at a cognitive feeling level. Third stage, which often goes with the connections to the past and the retrieval of memory work will be what I call, anyway, the emergency phase. And this phase is usually characterised by the emergency of feelings. So they get flooded with feelings at this stage. So this is a stage when therapists need to be more um, accessible for them. What I mean by that is to be arranging phone contact or maybe going to twice or even three times a week in terms of therapy sessions. So this emergency phase will carry on for a while as they deal with the feelings they've suppressed and they need to be able to integrate their feelings and their thinking. Uh, this will help them understand their behaviours and also help them connect with their uh, split off parts of their selves. Okay, after that, it's about grieving and letting go, often dealing with the loss of their childhood, the loss of their early memories and feelings, perhaps, and also dealing with their uh, loss of life, which they've often suppressed until this point. After that comes the redecision process, where they can start making new redecisions and new healthy decisions in their life today. And then looking at new integration of putting these feelings into practice, these decisions into practice, these new ways of being. And then finally saying, um, well, dealing with hellos really from the endings. Okay, this is my treatment plan. And um, please remember, it's not linear. You may go in and out of these different um, stages. In some ways, if I could have done on this um presentation I'll put circles rather than a linear list because as I said you'll go in and out of the different stages this isn't about a logical one step two step three step four step five percent whatever uh, treatment plan this is much more holistic fluid way of working with this population okay I hope this helped and please remember that this is a slow process um, it's not about overwhelming them that's, of course, what usually happened to these this population. They're a history. This is, so, so this is about going um, slowly. It's about dealing with the don't feel, don't close, don't trust injunctions, and about being there for them and helping them trust somebody, maybe for the first time. Um, it's very rewarding work, and that's why I call this presentation From Survivors to Thrivers, because part of the process 
is helping them celebrate their victories and taking ownership uh, of, of their new feelings, their integration, their split off parts of themselves and helping them move through so they're finding a new way of living with people today and how to be in relationships in a healthy way perhaps for the first time. So uh, good luck with this work and I hope this presentation has been useful for you. Bye.